Today, we're gonna play the Pauper Challenge with Mono Red Kiln Feed. The Pauper Challenge is a high stakes event that occurs every weekend. With the event being small but competitive, it's important to get no more than two losses in six rounds. Today, I will be playing the new aggressive Monored Kiln Fiend list that focuses on three threats Swiss Fear, Kiln Fiend, and Festival Crasher. Alongside these creatures, we have cheap and efficient card draw and interaction, and to top off the curve, we have Team or Battle Rage. To start the tournament, we are put on the draw with a good consistent hand and the opponent mulligans to 6. With the opponent leading with a mountain, I am scared of them being on burn, but we have no other option than to play our creature and attack. If they have the bolt, at least it's not being used on our kiln fiend. With no bolt and the opponent casting their own kiln fiend, it's safe to say that we are playing the mirror. We draw a festival crasher and attack for 1 and present lethal for next turn. Yes, they are at 18 life, but we are still presenting lethal. The opponent casts Ancestral Anger and Faithless Looting and gets in for 8. With them being tapped out, it is only right to go for the kill. It's on to game 2. As we both play Mutagenic Growth, Lava Dart is quite weak and we want 4 Flame Slash to interact with our opponent. Being on the draw, we keep a Threat Light hand. Our opponent yet again leads with a Mountain and passes. With a Mutagenic Growth in hand to protect our creature, we play a Swiss Sphere and attack. Our opponent untaps and casts a Festival Crasher. Drawing a Faithless Looting, we lead with Crash Through. We can now Looting to turn these lands into spells and get in for 3 Trample. Our opponent takes 3. With a Morphos and a Flame Slash, we use a Mutagenic Growth to save our threat. Sadly, they have a Lava Dart to finish it off. They get in for 7. We draw another Mountain, so with no threats, we must Looting to find one. With a Kiln Fiend off the top, we cast it as our opponent is going to close the game if we don't apply pressure onto them. They play another Festival Crasher and a flame slash and attack. With Amorphos, we draw and play a Crasher of our own. Both Crashers attack and we are forced to block. Our opponent flashes back the Lava Dart. Using Apostle's Blessing, we protect our creature from red. We kill their Festival Crasher, however, they have another Kiln Fiend. With a draw and a looting, we manage to find Flame Slash. Things are getting close. As we are dead to any removal, or have to chump block leaving us no board if they have any spell, it only makes sense to attack and hope they have nothing, as any other option loses us the game. Sadly, they draw a spell. On to game 3. For game 3, I decided to bring back in the lava darts and take out some crash throughs. We start off game 3 by keeping a cantrip heavy hand. We lead with looting. Luckily, we find both a land and a kiln fiend. Our opponent plays a land and says go. As both of our threats die to flame slash, we play the kiln fiend. Our opponent, of course, has it. We draw flame slash of our own and play festival crasher. Our opponent plays a kiln fiend and passes. With a lava dart off the top, we can morphos and then flame slash. Apostle's blessing is put on the stack to save their creature, but luckily we have the lava dart. We get in for 9. Our opponent plays 2 mana Morphos and an Anger. With no other spells, they pass the turn. As I like all the spells in my hand, I Anger first to try and draw a land. We get in for 4. Our opponent plays a Festival Crasher. I decide here to go for Lethal as it's unlikely for them to have removal. We Looting, discard 2 Duds, give our creature protection from red, and we can attack in for Lethal. Our opponent clearly has nothing here, so let's sling with our creature and win the round. Being on the play, we keep a nice consistent hand with two threats, two cantrips, and a lava dart. We play our Swiss Seer and we get him for one. Our opponent plays a tap land and gains one life. We play our land, play Festival Crasher, and get him for another one. Our opponent plays an Artifact Land and a Seeker of the Way. We untap and we wreak havoc.
Cyberding this matchup, they have fogs in their deck, so we need Flaring Palm, as well as we have some removal for annoying creatures. In game two, we keep a consistent hand, and they lead with a Artifact Land and a 3 bin Inspector. We untap and get in for one. They do block, and I'm not going to use the Mutagenic Growth, as they do play removal spells in their deck. The opponent gets in for one and bounces the Thraven Inspector to their hand. We don't have much to do, so we untap, play a land, and play our Kiln Fiend. Using the extra Mutagenic Growth that we top decked, we can use both of them to save our Kiln Fiend from being killed by Galvanic Blast. Our opponent plays Thraven Inspector and passes the turn. We draw Lava Dart, which is great. We Faith is looting to discard it, and we draw into the nuts. Manamorphose in a mountain. Let's play the mountain, let's play the Manamorphose, and then let's team our Battle Rage and use the Lava Dart. According to my maths, I think my opponent is dead. I accidentally forgot to hit record, so sadly, round three starts on turn three of game one. Our opponent plays a Thraven Inspector and a Bounce Land. They get in for one, and we untap and draw a Manamorphose. I think you know where this is about to go. Come on, let me combo, man. Alright, we're just gonna sideboard the same way we did last round. In game two on the draw, we keep a land heavy hand with two threats. Our opponent leads with a tap land. We draw a really nice teamer battle rage and pass. Our opponent plays a sacred cat and a bounce land. They're on a very slow draw. We draw a Lava Dart and play Festival Crasher. We're rewarded by this play because our opponent bolts our creature and attacks for one. Drawing a Mutagenic Growth, we can play our Kiln Fiend and pass with protection. Our opponent casts Faithless Looting and a Flame Slash on our Kiln Fiend, so we have to Lava Dart their Sacred Cat. With no threat, we have to Cantrip and luckily we find a Swift Sphere. We get in for one. Our opponent embalms Sacred Cat and passes the turn. With Martyr of Ash off the top, we cast it and then Lava Dart the Sacred Cat and get in for two. Our opponent has the Flame Slash, but luckily we have the Mutagenic Growth. We draw another land, but we can still get in for two on an empty board. I'm not playing these lands because of Faithless Looting. Our opponent flashes back their Looting, discards two lands, and says go. Luckily, we top deck a Looting of our own, and we draw two Mountains. We flash back the Faithless Looting, and we draw another land and a Lava Dart. I discard both lands and attack. Our opponent plays a Squadron Hawk and gets another Squadron Hawk. They then Faithless Looting. They play a land and they Lightning Bolt our Swiss Sphere. We untap and draw another Swiss Sphere, so let's dart the Squadron Hawk, dart their face, and team our Battle Rage. They untap and play a Squadron Hawk. They are obviously holding up a fog here. We draw a land and attack with Swiss Sphere. They have the fog. Sadly, they untap and have two creatures that gain a load of life. This is not looking good for us as they still can flash back the fog in the graveyard and we draw an Apostle's Blessing. We pass the turn with not much to do and sadly they play a load of creatures. From this spot, they're gaining too much life and we just can't win. We have a nice hand in game three and our opponent mulligans to five. We play our Swiss Seer and attack for one. Our opponent does have the Lightning Bolt, but luckily we have the Mutagenic Growth to protect our creature. We draw a Kiln Fiend, cast it, and get in for one again. Unfortunately, our opponent just has a Tap Land, and we draw a Festival Crasher. We play our land, cast our Crasher, and attack in for two, and say go. Our opponent plays a 3-bit Inspector, plays a Tap Land, and passes. Drawing a land is annoying, but we can double Lava Dart the 3-bit Inspector and put them down to one. Our opponent just passes the turn and we draw another Festival Crasher. We attack with all, but they have a Fog. We cast the other Crasher and say go. They sack the clue and scoop up the game and we win the match. On the play again, we have another turn one Swiss Sphere and we get in for one. Our opponent plays a Tapland and we now know they are on Blue Red Delver. Let's cast some Cantrips. We get in for three, and we pass the turn. Our opponent has a Lightning Bolt, which we have a Mutagenic Growth to counter. We draw a Mountain, so we attack for one, and play a Kiln Fiend. Our opponent has a Brainstorm and cycles Ash Barons on their upkeep to shuffle. They then have a Fire, which we can protect our Kiln Fiend with Mutagenic Growth. We cast another Kiln Fiend and get into two, and hold up Apostle's Blessing. Our opponent Brainstorms, plays their land, and casts a Scred. We obviously Blessing to save our creature. 
our opponent brainstorms in response and concedes the game. To Cyber, we bring in all the escape cards for value and we bring in the counters. We have to mulligan a no land 7 and we keep our 6. Our opponent keeps 7 and leads with a tap land. We draw a Kiln Fiend, play our land and say go. They also play a land and say go too. We draw a Morphos, play our Kiln Fiend and say go. They have the fire, but luckily we can protect it with mutagenic growth. They untap, preordain, and sadly scred our Kiln Fiend. We draw a land, play our Festival Crasher and say go. They play a land and pass the turn back to us. We draw a Kiln Fiend. We attack for one and cast our Kiln Fiend. On our end step, they cast a Spell Stutter Sprite. We let it resolve and they untap and they attack with a Spell Stutter Sprite. Before damage, they then scred our Kiln Fiend. A half to Apostle's Blessing and they have another Spell Stutter Sprite. We top deck a mountain so we mana Morphos into a Lava Dart so we can kill both of the creatures and attack for a load of damage. They do nothing in their turn so we untap and draw an unfortunate land. We get in for one. On our end step, they flash in another Spell Stutter Sprite. I read Elemental Blast this because it's going to be hard for me to counter anything when they untap. The opponent does nothing on their turn and passes. We draw a dart and attack for one. On our end step, they sadly have a Lightning Bolt. They untap and pass the turn. Luckily, we draw another threat. Unfortunately, our opponent bounces it to our hand. They untap and play an Augur of Bolas. We draw another threat, so we try to bait out the removal spell by just casting one of them. It works, but sadly they untap and they are able to ninjutsu in their ninja. This is starting to look bad. We double dart the ninja and hope that it goes through. Luckily it does, however we had to sacrifice a land to do that. We draw a Satyr's Cunning, but we just cast our Crasher and pass the turn. Unfortunately, they have the Lightning Bolt, and when they untap and reveal another bolt, and we looting into nothing, we're dead. With no changes to sideboard, we mulligan to 6 and attack for 1 with our Swiss Sphere. We're gonna place an island, a fairy, and scries 2. As we miss our land for our draw step, we have to looting to find a land and sadly miss again. We have to attack for 2 and say go. Our opponent has the scred, but luckily we have the mutagenic growth and they play another fairy. Sadly, we miss our land again. From here, sadly, our opponent brainstorms, has loads of removal, and just counters and kills everything that we play. Let's move on to the next round. We start round 5 with a mulligan to 6, we keep a 1 lander and attack. Our opponent leads with a tap land, so we faithless looting and find another swiss sphere. We then attack for 3. Our opponent plays a seeker of the way, which is a very important threat that we have to remove. We draw a crash through. From the crash through we get a mountain, so we can only attack and play our kiln fiend. I decide not to hold up the apostle's blessing. The opponent unfortunately has a galvanic blast, which gives their creature prowess and lifelink, and they have a bounce land and get in for 3. We draw a metamorphose, so we cast it. We hit a Teemo Battle Rage, and we also flash back our Faithless Looting. From this, we have an interesting decision to make. I decide to keep the Teemo Battle Rage and the Mutagenic Growth so that we can try and kill them in one swing. We pass the turn. Our opponent casts an Artifact and casts a Lightning Bolt, which we can save our creature with Mutagenic Growth. They attack for 4 Lifelink. They then gain another 2 life from their land. We draw Ancestral Anger, so we obviously cast it on our creature. Then drawing a Mountain, we decide to Teemo Battle Rage and attack. Our opponent proceeds to gain a load more life, cast more creatures, and we just can't keep up with the life gain and the board, so we just concede the game. Being on the play, we keep a decent hand with two threats, a Morphos and a Team Battle Rage. I really like this because we have a lot of kill potential. We play a land and say go. Our opponent plays a life gain land and passes back. We obviously cast the Kiln Fiend. Our opponent untaps, casts Seeker of the Way, and passes the turn back. We draw another land. We Manamorphose into a Swiss Sphere, so we Team Battle Rage and attack, putting our opponent to 5. Our opponent cantrips and attacks for 3. We draw another land, which is really unfortunate, and we attack for 2. Our opponent starts to make a really wide board, which is hard for us to attack through. We Manamorphose, and we draw another land, so I Tilt Scoop. Looking at the standings, we're in 14th place. If we get a good tiebreaker after this round, and we can win, then we have a decent chance to be in the top 8 at 4 and 2. 
We mulligan to six and keep a swift sphere hand. We attack for one and pass. We then ancestral anger our creature, draw another swift sphere and attack for three. Our opponent thrilling discoveries and gains life and draws some cards. We draw a mana morphos to attack for a ton of damage. I decide to discard both lava darts but not sacrifice them as I believe it would be too risky on this board. We're rewarded for sandbagging the lava darts as the opponent fills up the board and we can just remove them and attack for lethal. Surprisingly, we sideboard the exact same way as we did against all the other red-white decks. Who could have guessed? We keep a slow hand on the draw, but I think it's good enough against all their removal. We untap and draw a land and choose not to looting. Our opponent plays a bounce land, so we play our threat and pass. Unfortunately, we get punished because they play a 1-1. We're forced to attack into their 1-1, which they obviously block, and we play a Festival Crasher. They lead up with a Lightning Bolt, so we decide to protect our creature. As they're starting to play more creatures, we need to go wider. Our opponent continues to make a wide board, which is becoming a problem. We faith is looting to try and find answers for all these creatures. We find a lava dart, which is somewhat useful, but I decide to f flashback Faithless Looting instead to start filling up for one big swing. We pass the turn. The opponent casts Battle Screech. This is getting bad because the board is so wide. We lead with Mana Morphos, and we draw a land, so we decide to Faithless Looting. Luckily, we find a Flaring Palm to help with the fog in the graveyard, and we Apostle's Blessing to make our creature unblockable. We attack and use our Flaring Palm. Sadly here we are punished for not discarding the Lava Dart as they go to exactly one life. And sadly their fog prevents them from taking damage from burn so they can cast it and then flash it back so we lose the game from combat damage from their side of the board. Very unfortunate, I punted. For the third game we mulligan to six and keep a one lander. We bottom Lava Dart because we're not going to be sacrificing lands and we leave with Swiss Sphere and hit it for one. Our opponent plays a land and passes. We draw a Kiln Fiend and attack for one again. This time they play a 2-1, so we kill it before it connives. We draw a land finally, and we can play our Kiln Fiend. However, our opponent untaps and casts a Lightning Bolt and a Journey to Nowhere. This is bad for us, as our opponents are favored on an empty board. We draw a Festival Crasher, and we play another Kiln Fiend. Luckily, our opponent untaps and casts a Faithless Looting. They then cast a Sacred Cat, play a Tap Land, and say go. Top decking and mutagenic growth is insane. Let's do this, boys. Fuck, I came knife. Oh, shit.